Thank you so much for being here. Um, so happy to have you joining us here for our Facebook Live. Uh, I'm very excited about our event today um, and we'll be getting to a lot of really important and helpful information. As a naturopathic doctor, I use herbs, vitamins, minerals, homeopathics, and other nature-based supplements like a conventional doctor uses pharmaceuticals. The big advantage is that they have few of any side effects and tend to be much easier on the body. Another key difference is that often we really are trying to target the root of the issues in many chronic conditions that often are not really getting to the root of the issue in conventional medicine. So for example, if someone has chronic fatigue, oftentimes conventional medicine doesn't really have very good answers. And by doing testing, we're able to figure out what is really the root cause of the issue for this person and really trying to address the root of those issues. And I often will use supplements, vitamins, herbs, or minerals to be able to do that. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm Dr. Catherine Takeda Wong. I'm a naturopathic physician and ND. Like medical doctors, I attended a four-year medical school. I was trained as a primary care physician. I order labs, write prescriptions, and do school physicals the same as any other doctor. But with naturopathic medicine, there is much more. In the United States, fewer than 20% of medical schools require any courses in nutrition. Of those, the typical offerings are fewer than 25 hours of nutrition. That's 25 hours in four years. Naturopathic doctors, by contrast, typically receive 155 hours in order, be to, in order to be trained in the power of nutrition to build health from the inside. Applying that knowledge to a patient's condition takes a lot more time than just prescribing pills. My office visits are a full hour. In addition, I'm also a licensed acupuncturist trained in Chinese medicine. My goal was to educate myself as widely as possible because my passion is to help people not only get healthy, but stay healthy. I love caring for my patients and believe strongly in working with them as partners in their health and well-being. If you have a health condition you would like to talk with me about, please call our office and schedule a free phone consultation. There's no charge because I don't take new patients without reviewing their situation first. We discuss your health concerns and come up with a plan that would help you the most. To schedule your free phone consultation, just call or text the office, or you can click on the link in the post. All the contact information is on our Facebook page. Before I tell you about the amazing world of natural vitamins and minerals, I need to actually issue a warning. Supplements are highly marketed products. It's easy for companies to do because they are unregulated. Did you know that? Many people assume that the FDA regulates vitamins, minerals, herbs, and other supplements like they do with pharmaceuticals and over-the-counter drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, cough medicine, and so on. But they don't. The only oversight is provided by manufacturers voluntarily submitting their products for independent third-party testing. The program, which was authorized by Congress in 2007, is called Good Manufacturing Practices, or GMP. There are currently 55,000 supplements on the market. Of those, there are a great many that do not have therapeutic value because the quality is poor. They don't have the dosage or active ingredients that is actually claimed on the label and or they may be tainted with drugs, heavy metals, or other contaminants. That's why it's so important to purchase from a source that you can trust with your health. There are three major third-party organizations that certify that supplement companies are following good manufacturing practices, or GMP. These three or third-party organizations are Consumer Labs, NSF, and USP. When you purchase a supplement, be sure to look for the seal or statement from at least one of them. They may wind up being a little bit more expensive, but when it comes to your health, it's important to know that you're actually getting what you're paying for and not wasting your money on poor quality products. Again, they are Consumer Labs, NSF, and USP. We'll put the names in the post with this video. 
We're proud to say that all the supplements in our online supplement store and that we carry in our office are third-party tested. Also, all the proceeds from our online supplement store go to help special needs children. In addition, we who purchases from our store, and that makes our prices very competitive. This is open to the public, and you'll find our store at our website on drtaketawong.com. That's drtaketawong.com, one word. You'll find the link in the post. Now let's talk about some specific vitamins and minerals and why they're important. I'll start with the B vitamins. Supplements that are labeled as a B complex actually contain eight different B vitamins. Taken in some, they help the body with cell health, energy levels, eyesight, brain function, digestion, nerve function, hormone production, muscle tone, and more. Today, I'm going to focus on three of them, vitamin B6, vitamin B9 or folate, and B12. Vitamin B6 is normally just called B6, and it's important for nerve and brain function because it converts brain chemicals that can create anxiety and excitation into brain chemicals that are calming. This one is especially helpful for anxiety and hyperactivity. I've also seen it be helpful in conditions like OCD. So vitamin B6 is something that I recommend very frequently. Vitamin B9 is commonly known as folate. This is a B vitamin that is very important for brain function and brain development. That's why it's crucial that women take folate during pregnancy because they need it for the baby's brain development. Folate is also important for focus and attention. Most prenatals, or in fact all prenatals, should contain folate. And that's one of the most important parts of why women should take a prenatal. Prenatals also typically have higher amounts of other kinds of nutrients like iron. Folate is sometimes mistakenly called folic acid, and often those two names are used interchangeably. However, I'm here to tell you that there is actually a distinction between folate and folic acid. Folic acid is actually the synthetic man of the vitamin as it exists in food and high quality supplements. Certain people may have genetic mutations or other conditions that could make it difficult for them to be able to process folic acid, especially if this is the case. It's, be, it's vital to be taking supplements that are derived from whole food sources. I find folate to be very important in treating children with autism and other special needs, as well as people who have chronic fatigue, memory, or neurological conditions. Now moving on to vitamin B12, which is usually just called B12. It's important for helping people with special needs, particularly neurological or developmental conditions. That includes a developmental delay or autism, speech delay, ADHD, Down syndrome, and more. It's also important in treating fatigue, also can be helpful in memory or, as I mentioned, neurological conditions. The natural sources of B12 are meat, dairy, and eggs. The only vegan source is nutritional yeast. If people are following a vegan or certain vegetarian diets and their food does not contain B12, they need to make sure that they are taking high quality supplements that contain B12. It's important to purchase from a source that you can trust with your health. That's why I'm so proud of our online supplement store. All of the products, including the ones I'm discussing today, are tested by third-party laboratories, so you know that what's on the label is in the bottle and nothing more or less. Also, all the proceeds from our store go to help special needs children. In addition, our 20% discount makes our store prices very competitive. You'll find our store on our website at drtaketawong.com. That's drtaketawong.com, one word. 
As your viewer, just call or text our office to schedule a free phone consultation with me. There is no charge because I don't take patients without talking to them first. I always want to make sure that what I do fits your needs. You'll find all of the contact information on our Facebook page, and you can also click on the link in the post. Now, let's review three important minerals, iron, calcium, and zinc. Iron is important for energy because it carries oxygen to all the parts of your body. If a patient is reporting that they're feeling tired or short of breath, they could actually be deficient in iron. This is one of the first things that I'll check if they have those complaints. We'll also need iron for a number of our body's functions, and that's because it's an important part of many proteins and enzymes. Unfortunately, oftentimes the prescription form of iron that most doctors prescribe cause constipation. You'll find many good iron products in our store, by the way. If a patient has been taking the prescription form or high doses of iron supplements and is suffering from constipation, I will typically also have them take high quality vitamin C. The vitamin C helps them to better absorb the iron and also counteracts its constipating side effects. The form of iron that I most use is called iron citrate. And this is the form that is better absorbed and tends to cause less constipation than the prescription form of iron. Calcium. Most people know that calcium is important for strong bones. Did you also know that it's vital for muscle function? And what is the most important muscle in our body? It's our heart, because of course, our heart needs to beat every single day of every minute. And calcium is the key to the heart's ability to beat regularly. I recommend calcium citrate or calcium chelate or a source of calcium that is derived from food sources. Synthetically derived calcium carbonate. It's very important that calcium supplements are third-party tested because there have been some that have been found to be contaminated with lead. Now, I would like to say a few words about zinc. Zinc is important for the immune system and also, did you know, for attention and focus. I commonly find that it's deficient in patients who have allergies or autoimmune diseases and in patients who tend to get sick a lot. It's also noteworthy that zinc will tend to be deficient both in autism and ADHD. What about vitamin D? Vitamin D is vital for our immune system and also for our mood. If we have a deficiency in vitamin D, we're more likely to get sick and also more at risk for things like autoimmune diseases, allergies, and even cancer. In addition, a lack of vitamin D can contribute to mood swings, anxiety, and depression. I once had a patient who was severely deficient in vitamin D, and we found that his levels were, were extremely low, far below the normal range, and he was having a lot of depression and anxiety and mood swings. We started him on a vitamin D supplement, and a week later his wife called me and she was like, he's a totally different person. <laughs> And she, they saw a huge difference in his mood. Um, she's like, he was, he's back to, to normal the way that he used to be. And that's because, again, vitamin D is really important to help with regulating your mood. Vitamin D3 is the best absorbed form and more important to take than vitamin D2. Of course, the natural source of vitamin D is from the sun. And being in Hawaii, you'd think that we would get enough vitamin D from the sun just by living here. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I typically test almost all of my patients for vitamin D, and the only ones whose levels are adequate are those who are out in the sun for most of the day, every day. With this, I'm really looking at optimal levels of vitamin D. So if you look at a vitamin D test, I typically recommend that you want to see levels about 50 to 80 nanograms per mil. 
So that's my recommendation if you do have a test that you're looking at. Vitamin D is fat soluble, so it's better to take with some sort of fat or oil. I typically recommend vitamin D supplements that are already in a liquid and mixed with oil or are in a soft gel where there's oil inside of it instead of tablets or capsules which have a dry powder that are filling the capsules. Lastly, I would like to talk with you briefly about vitamin C, which most people think about when they get colds. It's a reasonable approach because it's definitely involved in the immune system and high doses of vitamin C is also important for wound healing and it's an antioxidant, meaning that it decreases inflammation in the body. I typically recommend a vitamin C that is buffered, meaning that it's not too acidic. I prefer vitamin C that's derived from food sources rather than synthetic versions as well. So that is our discussion today, a brief discussion about highlighting some of the most important vitamins and minerals. I trust our discussion about supplements has been useful for you. Does your doctor take the time to educate you like we're doing here today? If not, you're welcome to talk with me personally about any health concerns you have so you can feel empowered with your health. It's important to purchase from a store that you can trust with your health. So please visit our online supplement store at drtaketawong.com, drtaketawong.com. All the products are tested by an independent laboratory so that you know that what's on the label is actually in the bottle, nothing more, nothing less. Also, all the pro proceeds from our store go to help special needs children. In addition, our 20% discount makes our prices very competitive. Again, lastly, if you would like to talk with me about a medical condition, just call or text our office to schedule a free phone consultation with me. There's no charge because I don't take patients without talking to them first. I always want to make sure that what I do fits their needs. You'll find all the contact information on our Facebook page, and you can also click on the link in the post. Mahalo, and I look forward to being with you again in two weeks. Aloha and happy holidays.